Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to work on this emissive parts. Here you can see here we have and this one and the back here. So we are going to see that how to do this kind of emissive material inside Substance Painter. So I'm going to again create a normal fill layer and let's create it first. So let's bring that outside there. So the no layer was selected before that's why it created that layer on top of that. So make sure whenever you click on this, make sure the top layer is selected and it will automatically create the layer above that. So here this is my material emissive material. So let's call it emissive or some bright whatever just to understand it. So emissive here and for this kind of emissive material we need an emissive channel if i go to this material channel we have just color metal roughness normal and height we don't have any emissive material or emissive channel so first thing i'm going to enable that and i can do that by going to this you know, texture set settings and here you can see our channels here so we have base color metallic roughness normal and height and i want a emissive channel here so I can do that by going to this plus icon and here we have some other options and emissive is one of them. So let's click on it and create a emissive channel. And now if I go and check the you no know, material, you can see there is a new option called emiss and that is for emissive and it's now uh, disabled. So let's enable it. And for this kind of emissive, we don't want any metalness, any normal, any height information. We just want color roughness emissive. I think we don't even want roughness. So let's turn off that. Okay, we just want color and emissive. Okay, that's good. And let's start with this you no know, with this piece here. So first thing I'm going to pick the color here. So let's pick the color from here. We can give any color, so let's give it a little bit you no know, dull tone to the color and the main thing is this emissive let's say just for you no know, just to understand it so let's click here and let's you no know, choose the emissive color first so now i'm going to choose the emissive color you can see even though the color itself is black and you can see it's still very bright because of this emissive color which is also you no know, called uniform color here you can see and we are going to you know, create a mask. So let's create a mask, black mask. So so it's like invisible now. And then we are going to again you know, bring that back at the right area. So let's decrease the brush size here. And here I'm going to assign that material to this area. So and to this area. So we can do one thing. Let's uh, we could have created like let me undo this black mask we could have created a color selection and let's pick this color you can see that's done and we are going to paint this mask here as well so i'm going to create a paint so let's go to here and let's add a paint so with color selection if you want to again add something to the mask you need to have this paint here and with this we can you know, bring the mask anyway so here i'm going to create it so let's click here and hold shift to get this line you can see we are getting a straight line so again just click and hold shift and then drag you will get this kind of line let's drag holding shift you can see and then let's fill this area very easy here and then let's do the same thing here so here it's going to take a little bit time so i'm going to speed up the video so uh, before i speed up the video i want to talk about one option here and that is uh, this you no know, uh, lazy mouse here so it's kind of delays the stroke if i turn on this we have an option here this no distance so now if i drag this brush you can see it delays the brush stroke and which creates a very smooth smooth controlled you no know, stroke 
you can try this so let's drag you can see it delays the stroke and it's like lagging behind so that you can you can have control so let's fill this area so here you uh, know i don't have any color id because it's a single object in the high poly so that's why i couldn't assign any color id to that area in the high poly if you have a separate mesh for this then you can put a color in the high poly and you will get a color id for this so that would be great easy but in this situation i don't have anything here it's a single color id so then let's turn this off and let's fill this basically a simple thing okay so i'm going to do the same thing with these two parts okay we have completed this no color filling here this emissive color uh, material filling and okay so we are going to you know see if i change this no light make this side dark you can see this no also illuminates in the darkness so this no emissive is independent of light that means in the darkness it's going to still you know look bright and you can see if i go to this back side you can see we have some kind of kind of gradient look the side is a little bit darker than the center so now it looks very flat let's say if i go to this display here and if i turn on this activate post production post effects you can see we are going to get a little bit you know, brightness here and we have a glare option so if i go to this glare i can increase this luminance to you know make it even brighter but it's it's kind of post effect it's kind of adding an effect on top of this uh, the screen and it's also if i increase this it's also going to you know glare any bright area you can see the hand is now glowing so we don't want this too much so we just want a little bit glow here now it looks good but for this kind of gradient look we need to you know do some kind of you no know, trick here so let's go and here i'm going to for this kind of effect we are going to have two layer two emissive layer one would be a little darker side and one would be lighter the center area then we are going to mask the center thing so let's try to do that so this would be my you not know, dark version so we can go and let's go and make it dark a little bit darker side so let's make it a little bit dark side so just imagine like this so let's something like this and then i'm going to duplicate it so let me undo first let's first duplicate it so right click we can duplicate this layer by right clicking and duplicate layers so now i have two uh, emissive and let's say the bottom one is the dark one so let me turn off this and let's make it a little bit darker side like this and let's turn on this and now i'm going to work on the mask so we're going to let's say so let's go to the mask and we are going to bring this you no know, bottom part here so let's mask this out so let's you no know, inverse the mask here so let's say black and let's paint here i'm going to paint on this paint area you can see now i can you know I can just erase that thing basically and now the bottom emissive layer is visible here so I kind of masking out this area by you no know, masking black mask here so it's kind of now trick we are using here to get that kind of you no know, gradient look you can see now let's quickly do that
just to the border I think this is looking cool and we can make it a little bit brighter I think so let's go and let's make it a little bit brighter I think this is good maybe a little bit saturated and maybe this layer should become a little bit dark side yeah I think this is good so yeah this is my you know illuminated parts and if I render now let's go to IRA and let's click on that and let's see in the render okay now you can see in the render still it looks like a little bit dull so we can go to this rendering here and if you go to this shader setting we have to tab here when you render it's automatically open here so we have to type display settings and shader settings if you go to shader settings there is an option called emissive intensity and we can you know, increase this to you know, make this you know, brighter or glowing when you render it's going to appear now you can see it's better looking and it it's going to truly emit light from that area so you can see in uh, the light you no know, spilling out of that area and you no know, you can see the light here as well if you increase this intensity a little bit you can see the glow lights and here you can see the light glow now you can see it's looking cool okay so i'm stopping this lecture here in the next lecture we are going to you uh, know complete this material things we have still some parts left here we are going to you know uh, assign some materials to those parts and we are going to complete the material assignment in the next lecture